Greetings, everybody. This is Arizona Og with Hunt Fish 4x4. With a few months to reflect on this past deer season, I thought I'd share some of the fun we got into on our 2023 deer season review. Although I was unsuccessful in harvesting a deer, the hunt was not uneventful. One of our good buddies was able to tag out, and it seems we didn't go a day without seeing deer. I find you learn and grow from every deer hunt, successful or not, as well as from every deer harvested that you are a part of, be it the shooter or the butcher, the carrier or the cook. We all play a part and share in our failures and success, in our frustrations and triumph, and most of all, in our joy and the bounty. What good times. This video was compiled from about a week's worth hunting out in the field, so I hope you enjoyed, as always, thanks for watching. Buddy dropped the deer. I'm gonna help him clean him up real quick. Good job, brother. <laughs> Freaking one shot, brother. Good job, brother. It's a pretty one. All right. So I just want his head facing uphill. Just gotta straighten him up. There you go. Alrighty, I thought I'd give a brief description on what was going on here. This would be the field dressing of the animal. We'll start by making a small incision around the anus. After that, you'll make a small slice up the leg. Take that to the stomach, avoiding the bladders. Then from the stomach, I'll make a small incision and just ride my fingers all the way up to the chest cavity. At this point, I'm going to drop back down and free up the anal cavity uh, with the saw just to give a clear channel for the intestinal line. Then I'll head up to the chest cavity, give that a good opening to get a good grip on the esophagus. Once that's split, everything should just be able to pull out from the bottom. Once we have our organs out, the only thing we need to do is separate our heart and our liver. Blood wash all that stuff out, right? Oh, yeah. Here we have our liver, and here's our heart. seen horns. 